hello again, you beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Alright, so we are quickly approaching fall, thank goodness. I uh, had a request this week for some fall paintings and I am 100% right there with ya. Um, so let's go ahead and welcome the coming fall with some lovely fall colors and a painting of some darling little acorns today. So I'm going to be using my three brushes that I use in most of my paintings. So I have a, a medium brush, small detail brush, and then a wide wash brush. Gonna get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. If you need to see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, check the description box below. The colors that we're gonna start with for today's background step. So I have a fair amount of white, yellow, ultramarine blue, a little bit of phthalo green, and a warm burnt sienna type brown. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so super easy background today. Just gonna have fun with some colors. And I'm going to make all of my colors sort of on the lighter side. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of light blue. So I'm just gonna sneak a little bit of blue over here to my white, get that loaded up on my brush. And I'm just gonna add a few little brush strokes of blue up top, kind of just here and there. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of white on my brush, kind of blend that in there to get a little bit of color variation. Okay, rinsing my brush just to take some of the blue out. And I'm gonna mix up a green. I'm gonna go light with my green too. And since this phthalo green turns teal like this, which I absolutely love, but today I wanna go more like a traditional green. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow just like so, and I can even add some blue, kind of tone it down a little bit. And I should get a little bit more of like a grassy green. Okay, I'm gonna throw some of that green down here as well, not too much. Lovely, just having fun today with our background step light colors. Now I'm gonna take a light yellow and bring some of that in as well. And blend it a little bit here into my blue. Just playing with colors here today. Looking good. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of a light brown into some of these areas as well. Mostly down here, go a little bit darker. And blending that in with the colors nearby, but not so much that we all turn like a big neutral, over blended situation. You wanna keep some of those areas with the color that you went in with. A little bit more brown there. I think it needs a bit more saturation. I like to have the brush strokes show a little bit, be a little bit stylized. Okay, I'm gonna sneak some green up in the corner. And let me bring some brown down over here, just mixing things up, having fun here with my beautiful neutral colors. Sneak a little bit of a darker green into the corner little bit as well. Okay, the look I'm going for here, sort of like a fuzzed out macro focused photograph. And the background is like maybe the tree and grass and stuff like that, but we can't see the details. So just kind of bringing in those natural colors here and there and making it a little stylized. And then where, when you feel like you've gotten to a point where it's looking pretty good, let's go ahead and step away and we're gonna let this layer dry and we're gonna come back and add a whole bunch more. So I'll see everyone in a few. 
Welcome back artists. We have a dry background and fresh colors on our palette paper here. So I have a red, orange, and yellow, a little bit more of my burnt sienna brown and black and white. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. So this next step, very important, is where we're going to be sketching out our shapes. I'm gonna use my smallest brush for that and just white right as it is. And the first brush stroke that we're gonna do, we're gonna go maybe about a quarter of the way over. And we're gonna start with our stem. And that's gonna come down till you're a little bit less than halfway down. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull a brush stroke coming this way and a brush stroke coming off that way. Okay. Brought this down and now we're going to do little curved brush strokes like so for the cute little hats that the acorns have. Once again, lacking in the technical terms here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Never think of that till I'm into it. And a little curve on the bottom here. That's going to be our little shape there. Okay. Same idea on the other side. I always start small, that way I can make it a little bit thicker, but you don't want teeny tiny little acorns, okay? These are larger than life size. And then we're going to do a curve like so. Okay. With a little triangle there at the bottom. That's going to be our main shape. Same idea up there, almost like egg shaped and with a little point at the bottom. Okay. All right, those are looking pretty good. Let's do our leaves now as well. So I'm going to have a brush stroke coming off right like so, and then one coming from a little bit higher up. The leaves are a little bit trickier of a shape, but I like to kind of start with a curve there as well. And then I'm gonna come in a little bit, like so. It's gonna swoop around, and then when you come out, again, you're gonna have three little brush strokes, three little mounds, and then another swoop, and then three, spiky mound things and it's going to come from the other side now one two three and the one in the middle there is going to be the tallest and a swoop now one two three and a swoop and then that one would just end facing forward. Okay, and we'll fill this in in a minute and we can kind of finesse that shape. Okay, and same idea up here. And it's okay if it goes off the edge a little bit. That's kind of what we want. That looks nice in our composition. One, two, can't really see it that well. Three, Swoop. One, two, three. Swoop forward. And this is going to be one, two, and then you wouldn't see it coming off the other side. But you might see some of these swoops. Okay. All right, and there's our basic shapes. Now let's go ahead and grab a slightly larger brush to go ahead and fill in. Okay, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump back to the acorns now. And I'm going to start with a brownish gray. So we want to take some white and add a little bit of black and a little bit of brown. That's looking pretty close to where I want it to be. A little bit more white. Okay, that's looking pretty close. Close, maybe a little bit more brown. Black is a very strong pigment, so you might need a fair amount of brown. Okay, 
And then coming here from the top, we're gonna have a little brush stroke coming down. That's gray. And then we're just filling in that whole little top hat area. Feel free to use your smaller brush if you prefer. Okay. And same idea down here. Yeah, a little bit up towards the stem. complete the shape there. Okay, curved and rounded here. Beautiful natural shape. Covering up my sketch lines and making a lovely hat. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white now. I'm gonna do a highlight right in the center of either one here. Just like so. I'm gonna wipe a little bit of paint off my brush and just try to blend it slightly. Okay. And so slightly. A little bit toned down. Okay. That looks good. Let's go ahead and leave that for now. And we're going to move on to our beautiful acorns main section. Okay, I'm going to cover it, fill it in completely and cover it out to the sketch line. Right underneath touching the gray. Just like so, swooping around. I like to come back later and add a little triangle tail at the end. Clean edge. Clean area there where they transition into each other. A little bit. Of wet white here still, but that's okay. Okay, and same idea. We're gonna add a little bit of highlights here into our acorn section as well, just like so. Tilling that down a little bit, a little bit on either side, kind of some in the center as well. And then moving right along, we're still gonna have little final touches for these acorns. So don't worry if they don't look quite how you like right now. I'm gonna go back and add the details. But don't be scared, they aren't hard. And this is a super simple painting. I love acorns. They're just so satisfying. Their shape and I grew up on the central coast of California for some of my life and they grow there and I found out that if you prepare them wrong they can be poisonous but the Native Americans at Chumash tribe used to eat the acorns they would smash them up and make like an acorn bread I remember like going with my Girl Scout troop who my scout leader was Native American and she showed us how to make the bread and it was like the coolest thing to me. And then I would collect acorns thinking I'm gonna make this bread. I don't think I ever followed through with it at home. <laughs> but I remember having bags and bags of acorns thinking I was gonna make acorn bread. I don't think my mom ever allowed me to do that because she knew that it was likely gonna be poisonous. <laughs> Okay, please don't eat acorn bread without preparing it properly. <laughs> Disclaimer here. Okay, that's looking good. Let's grab a little bit of white as well. We're just gonna 
throw some highlights in there. They always look a little streaky at first, and then I kind of come back, tone things down a little bit, push them around a little bit, starting to get that roundness. Okay. All right, lovely. Let's go ahead into our leaves now. And you can do either one you'd like to start with. I think I'm gonna do them pretty much the same. We're gonna use some gorgeous fall colors for this. I'm gonna start with yellow, and I'm going to add a little bit of white into that yellow so that I have better coverage power. Now you wanna have nice tapered lines here for your oak leaf. Okay, so everything's kind of coming to a point. If they were curvy in the sketch, you want to kind of make it a little bit more pointed. I think that looks a little bit better. And we're using this opportunity to finesse our shape and make it look as close to what we can to how we want it to look. Okay. And just getting that all filled in with yellow out to the sketch line. Very simple. Very pretty, light, sunny yellow color. Okay. And just swooping around. it all filled in. Okay. Cute. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, kind of like here and there. Just kind of going back through there and adding a little bit of a highlight. Rinsing my brush a little bit. I'm gonna come in with some orange. And I'm gonna take this a few places, so kind of just around the bottom part. Maybe around my swoops. Blending it a little bit. You can always add some more paint right on top. will help you blend, create a little bit of definition there. And a little bit coming down the leaf as well. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Trying to keep my paint pretty thick so that I can get good coverage power and not see that green. Yellow doesn't have very good coverage power, it's not very opaque. It's not a very strong pigment. Okay, just toning things down a little bit. I want a little bit of variation there with the orange and the yellow. yellow with a little bit of orange. Now we're going to do mostly orange with a little bit of red. Same idea. And also adding a little bit of white is going to help you here with coverage. And you don't want to come into your acorn so it should be ending right next to it. Okay. And don't forget your swoops. 
that'll make it look more realistic rather than just going off the edge there and not painting the swoops. Paint it just like it wasn't coming off the edge, if that makes sense. These are kind of hard to fill in because they're sort of strangely shaped. So my brush is kind of going all directions, but then once I kind of go back over things, I kind of smooth the brush strokes. So painting is not just about color and placement, brush strokes matter. Every brush stroke matters. Okay, that's looking a little strange. I don't think I'd have the swoop be quite so big. A little better. And I'm going to grab some red. I'm going to add that in here, here and there as well. Very pretty and fiery looking. And just get some color variation in there as well. Okay. Cool. I'm going to grab my smallest brush now and come back in here with some brown. And I'm just going to go right over my stem with the brown and connect it to my acorns. Just like so little bit thicker towards the top. And connecting there to my leaves. Nice. All right, now we're going to have an exercise in patience. And we're gonna step away one more time and then we're gonna come back with our final details. So I'll see everyone in another couple minutes. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a like 95% dry second layer here and that's gonna be just fine. Feeling a little impatient today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna jump back in and I'm going to start with my leaf here on the upper right. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of a dark red. So I'm going to just add a little bit of black into my red. And then here from the base, I'm gonna go all the way down the leaf and kind of curve my way there. And then I'm going to have a little brush strokes coming out from either side, like so. Okay, that's looking good. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. And I'm going to use orange mixed with brown. Okay, beautiful burnt orange. And we're gonna go right down the center here as well. I'm gonna do a little curve, making it look like the leaf is maybe bending. Okay, and little brush strokes down either side as well. Okay, looking good. Also going to take this color sort of around the outside as well, but I'm doing it pretty quickly and I'm not like over doing it with the outlining. Okay, I'm just kind of cleaning up the shape since that yellow is a pretty light pigment. Okay, one more chance to refine that shape. A little bit of orange and brown all the way around each area. Okay, it's starting to look a lot more like an oak leaf. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back up here and do the same thing with the red one. 
doesn't matter which one you do first. Jumping all around. Okay, nice smooth lines. And finessing that shape. And you can't forget the other side. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, now we're gonna come in with some black. And the black is pretty important. So we're gonna do a few things with it. A little bit of water into the black paint always helps it go nice and smooth. And coming from the center here, we're going to do a quick black line that comes all the way down and very, very, very light brush strokes going down towards those lines as well. And we're also going to shadow our stem. Okay, so I did it here on the bottom and then I jumped over here to do it on the bottom over here. And working my way down to go meet acorns just like so okay and very light handed here same idea down your yellow leaf a little bit of shadows throughout if you want you can even do a few areas of dark shadow here on your leaves as well. Okay, pretty. Liking it. All right, and now let's take some black into our lovely acorns as well. And I'm going to start by doing a quick outline. Just like so. Okay. Come up to meet the little hat. Do a shadow underneath. I'm just connecting it there to the top. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a dark gray. I'm gonna come down from the top, pulling that gray down into our little hat there. Okay, I'm gonna take another quick swipe here towards the bottom with that dark gray, adding a little more shadow, okay? So you can see a little bit more depth there in that shape. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Up and around. If you don't like outlining with black, you can also use a dark brown. I just like how the black looks. Okay, super cute. And then our dark gray. Coming down from the top here. So cute. Okay, and then a little bit more black just on the tip of my brush here and I'm going to do a couple little curved hash marks there towards the bottom and then working my way up and up around the top as well you might want to leave that area there that's a little bit lighter alone okay and if you went too heavy handed in any area you can always add some gray right back on top to tone it down a little bit. Same idea down here. Overlapping like so. And then sort of getting lost in that white. And then coming down from the top again. Okay, just like so. I think a couple little clean white highlights here in my Gorgeous focal points. Right there in the center. In the center of our little hat area. And you can even grab some 
white and throw that in the stem as well. Add a little bit of variation there. And even in our leaves, a little bit here and there is our final little touch. If you're painting along today, I have a Facebook group called the Art Club and it's specifically designed for my students to be able to share their work with me and the other students and artists that are in the group. We would love to have you join us over there. There's a link below in the description box to join. Just a little bit here and there with the white, nothing too crazy. And that is all the instructions that I have for everyone this week. So please let me know what you thought of today's painting. Please hit like if you liked it. And I'd love to see you over in the art club. And until next time, bye.